I miss touching. I want to hug you and hold you and tell you everything's going to be all right. I hope you don't feel unloved. There's no reason for you to feel that way. You are so worthy and you are powerful. Can you hear the beat of your own heart drum? You have the power of love flowing right through you, a gift we were all given to share. In the chaos of fear, confusion of lies, heartbreak, and downright anger, I remember, we must give love to get it. So I want you to have this album of love songs. It's for you. Hear it and feel my love, all of it. I wake up in the dark hours, kerosene light, illuminating footsteps to fire, to stoke it up right. I'm changing with the seasons, warming in the sun. This whole album, each song was chosen for a reason. I've written a lot of love songs over the years that I've kind of pushed to the side and put them together and all of a sudden we're found in this pandemic and everywhere I looked it was just like everybody spewing hateful thoughts and ill intent towards one another. In this chaos, the hurt that I feel in my heart, like these are the songs that I would want to listen to. But naturally is encompassing of my relationship now and it's a really nice, comfortable, warm place. She has the most unique songwriting structure that I've, I've ever seen. She paints a picture with her word, and I think it's just the way she puts all of her influences together. I just really like being able to trigger people's imagination, and I just feel like place contributes so much, especially if you know who you are and remain true to where you're from. And I've never quite had an experience working on an album that was like this, an experience where everybody just kind of like fell in love with each other and felt like we were family. I really like the vibe at Fat Baby Studios. I don't know, it just felt like we all lived together so easily and you know, his mom made cowboy beans. You don't have all this smoke and fog and mirrors of like the industry. It's not distracting or intimidating. You are sharing these most intimate things that you've created with your own mind and heart. <laughs> a song like Dogs of Mexico where I heard these ideas in my head and I, and I wrote them all down and then when we got in the studio it was sounding exactly the way it was in my head and I think I got really excited to just see these things come to life. Some of these songs feel like old friends or memories to me but they remain part of who I am because I created them based on experiences that got me here. Then Sonora reached out to me and it just felt so right. I feel like all of us were like tight friends at like a summer camp or something. That whole week was honestly just like such a magical experience and we all developed a place in our hearts for one another through this process. I don't know, we all just felt so connected to it and it was so beautiful. Love is when we find we are more similar than different like two box turtles with unique shell patterns crossing paths in a vast stand of poplars, both heading for water, but in opposite directions. It's felt when hands clasp each other and hold on tight, winding through crowds of bodies, tethered and protecting, when tongues smooth the shadows of one another's taste buds. It's there when forgiveness is as unspoken and sure as sunlight on eyelashes or dust particles slanting through window panes. Love is ever flowing as a spring that never runs dry, softening sharp edges and rounding pebbles in its path, life-giving, a natural salve, a nurturing body. 
It's good and wholesome and pure, innate and abundant. Can't you feel it all around us? <laughs>